Captain Chaudhary. Today I am going to do the simple errors in astronomical position lines. What are the simple and basic errors in astronomical position lines? Let us look at it. Now the errors which can be caused on the astronomical position line can be because of two basic sources. One, error in taking the altitude. right? And other one is error which is caused because the GMT is taken uh, wrongly. It is taken a few seconds ahead or behind the actual time. So what happens is when there is error in computation of altitude, the position line tends to shift either towards the geographical position or away from the geographical position. Right? We will see how that happens. And also when there is error in chronometer time, the position line shifts eastwards. Although the position line is shifting either towards the GP or away from the GP, but the computation of the shift of the position line when there is chronometer error is done eastwards or westwards. Whenever we talk about the error in GMT, we must also talk about the body. What was the body? Was it sun? Was it moon? What is, was it planet? Well, sun, the rate of movement of the sun or rate of change of GHA of sun is 15 degrees per hour. So that means 60 minutes, uh, 15 degrees. Or we may say 60 seconds, 15 minutes. Like if the body is moon, then the tabulated rate of the moon is 14 degrees, 19 minutes for the increment. And the actual rate of moon at that time or actual rate of change of GHA by moon at that time is 14 degrees, 19 minutes plus V for that hour. So let us look at the error that is caused because of, you know, a wrong measurement of the altitude or mistake in taking the altitude. The mistake in taking altitude can be because of non-application of index error or applying the index error wrongly. It may also happen because you have not allowed for the dip. Dip is not taken at all or dip is allowed for the wrong height. It can also be because of wrong application of refraction. Whatever may be the cause, it will uh, result in wrong reading of altitude and therefore the true zenith distance will be wrong and thereby the position line either shifts towards the GP or away from the GP. Let us try and understand why it happens. Okay, uh, talking about the theory of position line, what happens is if this is say for example a small scale chart uh, including Pacific and all that, very small scale chart and suppose this is a GP of the body, GP is a point vertically below the heavenly body on the earth so declination of the body is same as the latitude of GP and westerly longitude of the GP is same as the GHA. For example, if the GHA of the body is 160 degrees, that means the longitude of GP is 160 degrees west. Whereas if the GHA of the body is 200, this means that the longitude of the body is 360 minus 200 because you can't have a longitude more than 180 degrees. So you can't have a longitude called 200 degrees west. We rather call it 360 minus 200 that is 160 degrees east. Right. So this is how the declination and GHA of heavenly body would give us the GP. Suppose this is the GP and if we use this DR for calculating intercept we are doing the calculation by intercept side. But DR, that means the latitude and longitude is directly or indirectly used in the calculation of the uh, zenith distance. And that zenith distance is called CZD or computed zenith distance. Because we have used this DR for calculating the CZD, when we draw a CZD circle from the GP, the giant circle must pass through the DR. Right? So this is called CZD circle. Okay. Now instead of uh, uh, CZD, if you want to plot TZD circle, TZD will be 90 minus true altitude. Observer from his actual position is finding out what is the true altitude. So 90 minus true altitude is true zenith distance. And suppose the CZD is 30 degrees 6 minutes, that is 1806 miles. And suppose the true zenith distance is 30 degrees, that is 1800 miles, then TZD is about 5 miles less than CZD. 
That means if I draw a TZD circle from here, it will pass like this at a distance of 5 miles from the CZD circle. We don't draw all this, we don't draw this. What we do is we draw a DR on the chart, then we draw the direction of the GP by taking the azimuth and we draw a small part of the TZD circle. In other words, we plot the DR, the azimuth line with the intercept and a line perpendicular to the intercept that is called position line. This is how we plot an astronomical position that is obtained by intercept method. Right? So what we conclude here is from the position line, the distance to the GP can be called as TZD. True zenit distance is the distance between the geographical position and the position line. So to understand the first basic error, let us understand there is this latitude 40 degrees north and 100 degrees east. An intercept was 5 miles towards The intercept was 5 miles towards and later it was found that index error of 1 minute on was applied as 1 minute off. That means you made a mistake in calculating the altitude. You made a mistake not subtracting and adding. You did not subtract 1 minute, you added 1 minute. That means what happened is the true altitude was too high by 2 minutes. We make a statement true altitude too high by 2 minutes, which means that the true zenith distance is too low by 2 minutes. And true zenith distance is the distance between the position line and the GP. By mistake, GP. By mistake, this distance, that is the true zenith distance, was too low by 2 minutes. So rectify your mistake. You can't shift the GP probably. So you should sh shift the position line. By mistake, the true zenith distance was too low by 2 minutes. To shift the position line, and this is how the position line is corrected for the mistake that you had made in calculating the true altitude. Right? We just simply rectified the mistake. True zenith distance was too low by 2 minutes. We shifted the position line away from GP. So the new intercept is not 5 minutes, new intercept is 3 minutes. Wrong application of GMT and related shift of position line we will do in some other class. Let us now focus on the cogged head which is basically <coughs> caused because of similar error in the three altitude calculations. As I told you, the error in altitude can be because of wrong application or missing out of refraction, uh, dip or index error. So this kind of error, which is a similar error in magnitude and direction in altitude calculation, it can be caused either because of wrong application of index error or it can be caused because of wrong application of dip. It cannot be caused because of wrong application of refraction because refraction depends on the altitude and probably the altitude of all the three bodies is different. So error because of wrong application of refraction or missing out of refraction cannot cause a cogged head that can be resolved geometrically. If the cogged head does not form, that means you get a pinpoint, does not mean that there is no error. There can be random errors which cancel each other and you get a pinpoint position. But if you have a similar error in all the three position lines in calculation of altitude, a cogged head must form. And once again, the similarity with the terrestrial cogged head, if the bearing separation of the three GPs is less than 180 degrees, the position is outside the cogged head. And if the bearing separation, that is the azimuth separation of the three GPs or the three bodies is more than 180 degrees, then the position is inside the cogged head. So uh, let us see how the cogged head is formed. Uh, let us do a numerical for that. Let us say all the three star observations are taken simultaneously. Hypothetically, we will assume that they are taken at the same instant of time and same DR is used. Let us say the azimuth for the first body is 0, 3, 0 degrees true and the intercept is 5 miles towards. 
so 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and here you have the position line. This is PL1. Okay. Now let us say that the second azimuth is 120 degrees into say 120 degrees would be something like this and it is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 minutes and here you have the PL number 2. So this is PL number 1 and this is GP1. This is PL number 2 so this is GP2. Let's say the azimuth of the third body is 175 degrees this way and it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 minutes towards. So this is your PL number 3 and somewhere here you have GP number 3, 175 into 4 miles. So we have plotted the three simultaneous position lines with respect to the same DR, the first PL is 030 0, 0 into 5 miles towards, the second position line is 120 degrees 5 miles towards and the third one 175 degrees 4 miles towards. A similar time cog hat is this one. This cog hat is caused because there is similar error in all the three position lines. How do we resolve this cog hat? Now this cog hat is formed because of some error in the position line and that error is along the azimuth line. right? Uh, this vertical circle for the time being, let me call it azimuth line. The error is along the azimuth line, right? This error shifts the position line either towards the GP or away from the GP. In all the three cases, it is happening in the similar way. The position line, because of the error, is getting shifted either towards the GP in all the cases or away from the GP. So to resolve this cog that what we will do is, we will shift all the three position lines either towards the respective GPs or away from the respective GPs. So let's take the GP1 and position line 1. Say for example, we shift a certain distance towards the GP. Now if I have shifted one position line towards the GP, I must shift all the position line towards their respective GPs. So this is the position line number 2, right? This is position line number 2. And by a similar distance, I shift this position line also towards the respective GP. This is the third position line. Once again, this is the direction of the body. This is the <coughs> so uh, this is the direction of the GP, and I will shift this position line also in the similar way towards its GP. So what we see is the initial similar time cogged hat intersections can be shown by circle and the new cogged hat that is formed that is orange color cogged hat. I will draw the intersection points as squares. So what I am going to do is I am going to join old intersection with the new intersection and uh, we are going to see a magic. I have joined the old and new. I will be joining old and new intersection points and the same thing I will do here. Now this is the position of the ship. All the three lines will meet at a point and that is the position of the ship. How much is the common error? The common error can be found by drawing a circle tangenting the side of tangenting the side of the original coordinate. And you will be surprised to find that it is also tangenting the sides extended, the other sides extended. This side extended is over here, this side extended is over here and this is the third side. When you draw a circle by trial and error, approximately of the radius such that the circle is tangenting the side of original contact, this is the common error in all the three position lines. Now the million dollar question is, if the question says that an index error was omitted in all the three position lines, what is the index error? And whether it is on the arc or off the arc. You can see that uh, the measure which I have taken, you know, looks like it is about uh, say 2.8 minutes of the index error which was not applied. But the thing is, whether it is on the arc or off the arc, for that what we need to do is, we need to take 
any one GP and any one position line. Suppose we have taken this GP, the distance of that GP from the wrong position line is wrong TZD. Right? The distance from the GP to the wrong position line is wrong TZD. If we draw this position line from the fix, can I say that this distance is correct TZD? So you can look at the diagram we have taken GP1 and position line 1. This is the wrong TZD and this is the correct TZD. So we will make a statement TZD is too small by 2.8 minutes. We can also say because TZD is too small we can say true altitude is too big by 2.8 minutes. The true altitude is too big by 2.8 minutes because you forgot to apply an index error. And that's why the true altitude became too big or too high by 2.8 minutes. You forgot to apply an index error which is 2.8 minutes on the arc. This is how I find out that the index error which was not applied is actually 2.8 minute on the arc. These 2.8 minutes were not applied when calculating the true altitude that made the true altitude too big by 2.8 minutes and therefore true zenith distance too small by 2.8 minutes. If the question says that index error was applied wrongly then it must be 1.4 minutes on the arc which was applied as 1.4 minutes off the arc and that's why the difference became 2.8 minutes. Right? So that was the celestial cognate and we can see that the bearing separation between the GP1 and GP3 is less than 180 degrees. Position is outside the cognate. So in case you find the bearing separation of these GPs or these azimuths of these three heavenly bodies to be uh, more than 180 degrees that means all the three uh, azimuths or the bearings cannot be placed within 180 degrees that would mean that the position is inside the cockpit and in a very simple way you can find out the position by drawing the angle bisectors just plot the angle bisectors and the intersection is the position of the ship and from that position you draw a circle by trial and error so that it tangents all the three sides that would be the common error in the three position lines.